Hi, crafting friends, and welcome to Creative Moments by G. We are so excited that you've stopped by tonight. I'm Georgia. Maudie is over there, my sister. She's the moderator. She'll be answering any questions that you have tonight. We are so excited about tonight. We will be creating two book binding cards. And they are just beautiful. But make sure you stick around until the very end because, guess why? We went crazy. We started creating eight more cards. And so we'll have a total of ten that you can look at. We are so excited. Well, uh, make sure when you hop on that you tell us hello. Let us know that you're here. That always helps us. And remember, please, to go ahead and click that subscribe button down below if you haven't done that. And ring the bell so that you are always reminded when we've uploaded a video. And you know, YouTube really likes it when you um, chat with us when we have a YouTube Live. So we hope that you do that, that you take a moment and chat with us. Like I said, we are going to be working with the book binding. And let me just show you one of the cards. Let's see which one I want to show you. Oh my goodness. Look at this beautiful card. Isn't that pretty? And then you open it up. We have eight, we have seven more to show you, and we're gonna make two tonight. I think you're really gonna like it. Well, I guess let's go ahead and head down to the crafting table so that we can get started. But you know what? Before we do that, I wanna welcome anyone who's watching the rebroadcast. If you are watching after June 10th, at 6 p.m., we would love for you to take a moment and just write comments. Let us know what you thought of this video because, you know, we're all about trying to do the videos that you want to see and provide you some inspiration. Hey, Susan, thank you so much for stopping by. Oh, my goodness. Well, let's head down to the crafting table and let's get started. Okay. So, what's really cool is we are going to show you something fun to do with this set, the watercolor shapes. You know, I know a lot of people, I see a lot of people talking about it and saying, oh my goodness, what do we do with this? Maudie and I have figured out something to do to really highlight the sentiments that you're using for your card. And so I think you're really going to like that. You, you may not have thought to use it as a highlighter, but I think you're going to like it. And we're also going to pick a lot of the sentiments from here tonight, our sunny sentiments. We absolutely love, love, love this. But I want you to remember that all the measurements will be listed over on our blog, and the link will be listed below. So all you have to do is go there. And let's go ahead and let me show you how we cut this card. The first thing you do is just take a regular card stock and we are going to cut it four and a fourth. So we're just gonna cut it straight down. And what Maudie and I did when we were making our card is we ended up with two of these. So you can make two cards. And so we would change. I'd say, okay, you get after it. What are you gonna do with your half of this card? And of course, you know, she's super creative. <laughs> so we had a little competition going on. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut our other card that we have, because we're gonna make two cards tonight, and that way we can put this up. We're gonna go ahead and cut that at four and a fourth. And we'll just be using these two cards. So we're gonna go ahead and score at four and a fourth and five and a half. So let's do that and let's remember not to cut the card. And I know that why? Oh, maybe because I've done it before. <laughs> so four and a fourth, uh, five and a half. So did you have a good weekend? Susan, did you do anything special? Gloria got her package today. Oh, Gloria got her Oh, fantastic. Hey, Gloria, I have a very small um I have a very small screen on my iPad so I didn't see you. Oh, I'm so glad you got your package. Now, let's go ahead and get this one scored too. Well, let me tell you. Maudie's son and her grandkids came up last weekend, and we had so much fun with the kids. 
Well, we took them to White Sands. I don't know if you're familiar with White Sands, but it is the largest gypsum dune field in the world, and it's beautiful. It's pure white. It's in Almogordo, New Mexico. And so I have a picture at the end that I want to show y'all. I'm coming down on one of those big round things and my brother's next to me and then two of the grandkids are there. It's so funny. Oh my goodness. I tell you, I was sore for days walking up and down those sand dunes. Now we have scored our paper and we are going to go ahead and start with this Granny Apple Green first to make the first book binding card. So let's go ahead and just fold that over. And look how this book binding card does. We are actually going to glue this down so that this folds back and forth. And now we have used, already cut out our cards that we're gonna use. Look at that beautiful paper. Isn't that just gorgeous? That comes from the expressions in ink. Oh my goodness, just beautiful, just beautiful. Hey Angela, thanks for stopping by. We appreciate you so much. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and lay this down. And like I said, all the measurements will be listed over on our blog. So we have this one laid down. Now let's go ahead and glue this down. Now you can use your uh, strip. You can use your tear and tape right here if you want, but I'm gonna go ahead and use some glue because we have found that it really does a good job of keeping it exactly where you need it. So let's just hold that for just a second. And it makes such a pretty card. You know, it's so versatile. It'll go with any occasion. You can use any sentiments or DSP. You're gonna love creating this card. If you haven't done it yet, you need to do it this weekend. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is we've just created some mats right here. And this is where the magic happens. We're gonna show you what to do with these watercolor shapes that are so cool. So we're gonna put that, no, let's go ahead and get this laid down. And this is great because this is on the other side of the paper, right? We love this DSP. Oh my goodness. Well, did anyone else do anything fun this past weekend? We're getting ready for another weekend, right? Maddie and I don't have anything planned. Just to recover. Oh, but you know, I forgot to tell you, the big hit besides taking them to White Sands was I hosted the breakfast for everybody. They have a family of five. And so I made French toast, but with Texas toast. So that was a big hit because it was big pieces of toast. They really like that. <laughs> it's kind of hard to eat. They have two boys and a little girl. She doesn't eat much, but those two boys eat a lot. So now we can go ahead and get this glued down on the inside because you always want to do something when you have colored cardstock, right? because you won't be able to see your sentiments. Okay, let's get that laid down. And now we can put this over to the side and we are going to get out our square from that stamp set. We're going to use our Granny Apple Green. We're going to just very lightly push on it and we don't want it very dark. So here we go. Just line it up right in the middle. And that, look at that, isn't that pretty? And it's supposed to be like that. You know, it's not a solid color. So we'll go ahead and close that. And now we are going to get out our memento. And um, let's see, let's make sure, yep. Get out our memento. Just want to make sure I did this on the right paper. Yes, and very lightly because we just inked this pad. Oh my goodness, and we did a super good job of inking it. I think we may have over inked it just a little bit. But the, oh, look at that. So we need to really get it going because we want it nice and dark. Okay, and we're gonna do it at a diagonal. That's also going to create some interest and we're gonna hold it so we can really get it dark. See if that works. Oh, look at that. 
Now, isn't that pretty? I'm telling you, we really like those abstract squares and shapes from that stamp set. I think it's so pretty. So, so pretty. And now we're going to go ahead and put it up on some dimensions. Let's get that going. Let's see. Okay. Oh, I know. This DSP is, oh my goodness. You hate cutting it. I hate cutting this DSP because it's so pretty. But wait till you see these cards. They're just so pretty. I'm going to put my trash can right here so that I can throw my little dimensional covers. And now we're just going to lay this right here. And we're going to put this right on the front diagonally, just like this. I love Granny Apple. I think it just brightens everything up. And let's see. You know what? We reached our first 100 today, and tomorrow it's going to be 104 degrees. We are burning up. It's a heat wave. And then next Thursday, we're going to have 104, 106 all throughout the weekend. And then next Thursday, it, we're supposed to have a, a cold front move in. It's going to be 98. <laughs> Don't you love it when cold fronts are 98 degrees? <laughs> So let's go ahead and put this right in the center. And look at that. That's not hard at all to do. Don't you think that makes a statement? Look at that. And now you can put something on the inside. You could put some decorations. You could use those stamps. Okay, someone, Susan just said, I just found a box with unopened DSP packs it from the retiring mini. Oh, I know. I, I was telling Maudie, what are we going to do with all our retiring DSP? Do y'all have any ideas? I mean, we have so much DSP, I don't know what to do with it. I was thinking, well, maybe we should have like a, a little surprise box and sell it. And I, I don't know. It's just ridiculously crazy. So what do you think about this card? You like it? Angela said it's beautiful. Thank you, Angela. Hey, listen. We want to give two of our cards away that we're making tonight. We would love to share them with you. So we have a trivia question. And the first person to get it right will get to pick one of the cards. Okay. There's seven watching. And I know there's some other people watching. If you want to take a moment to to log in so that we can see, so that you can get one of these cards, that would be great. Otherwise, we'll take the first and the third response. It has to be the right response. So are you ready for the question? And then at the end, you can tell me which card you want and we'll send it to you. We would love to do that. And we have 10 cards, of course, like Maudie reminded me, right? Because we have eight and we're making two. So here's the trivia question, you ready? <laughs> I just love to have fun. <laughs> okay, the trivia question is, what holiday is in June coming up that you can send a card for? What holiday right around the corner is coming up that you can send a card to someone in June? First correct answer gets to pick one of the cards and we will send it out tomorrow. What holiday in June is perfect to send a card? Okay, so here's our first card. See, it didn't take long at all, right? You're going to love creating these cards. They're just so versatile. Now, the next one we're going to take is our beautiful papaya color, right? Love, love, love it. Now, look at this paper. This is, of course, from Europe. Yes, Anne got the answer if she was the first one. Father's Day, woohoo! Well, Flag Day, you could have said that too. Okay, we need the, the other person, the third person to say the correct answer. Gloria, Gloria said it. Oh, Gloria, okay. 
Woohoo! So at the end, you'll get to pick your card. Okay, so here we go. Let's create this second card. Now on this one, it's pretty much going to be the same way, but we aren't going to do a diagonal card. Nope, we're going to just do it straight. And then I want to show you those other cards that we made. Now, we're gonna use this ink and I wanna show you something that is so cool. Oh my goodness, one of our dear crafting friends created this for me. She put a sunflower, little sunflower on it. Can you see that? Oops, let's see, here we go. Let me get to it. A little sunflower because sunflowers, we're sunflower stampers. It's so beautiful. Look at the jewels that she has hanging down from it. So creative, and it actually is perfect. You put it in your glue so that it doesn't get globbed up and it keeps it nice where it's supposed to be. These are so darling. I just love it. She even picked the colors to go with the sunflower. And she sent Maudie one too. She sent her this beautiful one. And look how it's even. Oh my goodness, the label is just so creative. Oh my goodness, just so beautiful. We love it. We just love that dear person that sent that to us. So I want to go ahead and get this glued down. So we'll do that. Get that glued down. And now we're bringing in this beautiful paper. Oh my goodness. And doesn't it just go perfectly with this pale papaya? Just so pretty. But look, even the back is beautiful. It's also beautiful. Angela, who said flag day. Well, that's nice of you, Gloria. <laughs> I think that would be wonderful. You know what? We're going to give Gloria, Angela. No, Gloria said it was Father's Day too, but she oh. also said the next one was. The next day. one. Okay, so I think Angela should also get one. We're going to give three cards. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and lay down this little strip. And remember, all our measurements are over on our blog, but you give me a little bit of time to get all that done. I'll have it done by tomorrow. Let's go ahead and lay down on the inside our white piece of card so that we can write our sentiment. This is really a versatile card to do. So pretty. And uh, we just, we, Monty and I just absolutely love it. So we're gonna put this to the side, and this time, we're gonna go ahead and do it just like this and put it right on the front. So let's go ahead and once again, take out our watercolor shapes. We're gonna use Granny Apple Green. And we're gonna stamp it off because we don't want it real dark. Get that centered. This one almost fits exactly. So get that centered. And now we're going to do a happy hello. Such a pretty, such a pretty little sentiment, don't you think? We love these. Oh, I went a little dark. Let me get that stamped off. Oh, that's pretty. Make sure. Okay, put it right in the middle. Let's get that lined up. And wait till you see the other cards. They're so pretty too. So, so pretty. If you're liking our card so far, we would love a thumbs up from you. That would mean so much to us. So let's go ahead and get our dimensionals again. We like to get our dimensionals put down. We do love our dimensionals. Now I, I heard someone say in a pack of dimensionals, there's like 400. So you can go crazy with your dimensionals, right? And we like to do dimensionals so that when you send your cards in the mail, you um, you know they, they hold the integrity of the card, right? Okay, so now we are going to just put this on some dimensionals. Get it raised up just a little bit. Now we are having a fant our first bingo on our next live. It will be June 24th, and we're hoping to have 
at least 20 people because that almost pays, not quite, almost pays for all the wonderful prizes we're giving away. If We're going to cap it at 30 because we want to keep it small. But So tell your friends. You can still come online. We're going to make three fabulous cards. And in between, we're going to play bingo. And we have created the neatest holder for our bingo. Uh, little, what do you call them, Maddie? Buttons or? Numbers. Numbers. Our little bingo numbers. Oh, my goodness. You will want to see what we have created to hold our bingo numbers. It was so pretty. Okay. So here's our next one that we created. Don't you just love this paper? Now you can take some ribbon, and we're gonna, I'm gonna show you one that has some ribbon on it right here, but I dare not do that online when we're having a live video because I have carpal tunnel, and there's just no way that I could tie it. <laughs> you don't wanna see me try to tie a ribbon, no. I can do it off screen, though. So here's the two cards that we created today. Now look at this one. Oh my goodness, we used the hand-pinned DSP. We also embossed that. Can you see the embossing? Oh my goodness, this strip right here. We tied this ribbon. We cut the flower out. We added the inside. And just look at that. Isn't it gorgeous? I mean, who wouldn't want that thank you card? What about this one? We love this. Oh my goodness. Once again, the gold in the DSP is just really phenomenal. Once again, we tied a ribbon right here. We have this flower on the front. Another thanks card. We love that. And let me see, since we have so many cards, let's see if I can take off that picture in picture so that we have more room. I don't know if that'll work, but it might work. Let's see. Hang on just a minute. I'm going to take that off. And there we go. Okay. The next one, look at this. We used the Bloom Where You Are Planted DSP. And look at that cute brick. Oh, my goodness. Isn't that pretty? We used a stamp right here, colored it. So pretty. Okay, our three winners. Are you looking at the cards you might want? Here's a birthday card. Now look at that. We embossed that side right there. Oh, so pretty. Hoping your birthday is filled with all the best things. And we put a little strip of that DSP right there. Oh my goodness, we have a few more. Now we used Wildcats. Look at that. And the macrame embossing. Oh... Uh, we just love that. We, of course, added a whole bunch of layers right here. It says, you are fierce. We added some plants on the inside. Thought you could use some sunny thoughts today. Isn't that pretty? And I just love the alternating colors of the DSP. Once again, we actually did tie some bows. And we stamped the beautiful hand pin flowers. We have two more to show you. I tell you, we went crazy, didn't we? <laughs> okay, this one is that beautiful paper, and I believe that is from Wildcats, but don't hold me to it. A happy hello to you. Once again, so pretty. All the coordinating colors. And finally, you know how much I love you're a peach, right? Love, love this paper. And we cut out some of the leaves, use their stamp, thanks so much. Look how pretty that is. Oh my goodness. So, so pretty. Well, our three winners, you can either tell us, um, what you need to do really is you need to go over to creativemomentsbyg.com and click on contact. And if you would please just say, hey, I want a card. Which one do you want? Give me your first choice and your second choice. Let's go over them again. And then I want to show you us sliding down white sands. You might want to see that. It's quite amusing. We have sunny thoughts. We have a happy hello on that beautiful paper that's kind of pale. It's that pale papaya. Gloria likes the pink one, not the flower. 
Pink one with the flower, Gloria. Okay, Gloria, and I already have your address, so you don't have to do that. So I'm going to hand this to Maddie, and she's going to write your name on it. Angela, and who else went? Uh, well, Angela I, didn't say yet what she wanted. Oh, oh the other one is... Um, uh, I can't read. Anne. Anne, Anne, do you see a card that you would like? And that way we can go ahead and label it. And then get it mailed to you tomorrow if you'll go over to Creative Moments by G and just get that. Let's see. Okay. Angela Ann, Stunning Variety of Cards. Okay. And if you don't feel comfortable saying which one you want, you can just go to Contacts and we'll get it to you over there. And you know what? You can go back and look at the video and you can look at the last screen so you have it right there. Okay, so are you ready to see a sliding down white sands? <laughs> okay, no judgment. Don't judge us. You just have to you just have to appreciate the beauty of the white sands. Let's try that and let's see. Here we go. There we are. My brother, I'm right there in the middle and my brother is on the left and then we have Wesley, the little guy at the top. And he is, how old is he, Marty? Uh, eight. eight. And then we have Braden, our high school kid. He's going to be 15 in August. Of course, he went down the fastest. And what was so funny, my brother kind of got stuck. <laughs> and he wasn't coming down quite as fast. But boy, did we have fun that day. We had so much fun. Well, listen, crafting friends, thank you so much for spending your time with us. We just appreciate you chatting with us on a Thursday night and... We just love you guys so much and thank you once again and we hope that you enjoyed this and you find some inspiration. We hope to see you next live on Thursday, June 24th where we're going to play bingo and you're going to get to see that wonderful thing we created to hold our little bingo coins. So listen, go out, be kind to yourself and others, be creative in your crafting and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.